first thing is uh, the goal is to keep people on the field. We met Greg through a PT guy for my youngest son, Hutton, who's 12, was 12 at the time. And instead of uh, strength gains, it was more about the rehab or prehab. And so for me, it's uh, a lot more functional training so that not only are you getting stronger and in better shape, you're staying healthier. So the different uh, training for me is it's always uh, different. Um, I think we have 600 different exercises. Um, sometimes we do intervals. Sometimes we do reps. Um, sometimes we do a combination of both. And I can't even recall um, when we've done the same exercise twice. I think that it uh, makes guys more efficient, girls more efficient, their bodies more efficient. Uh, they're stronger in areas that help them control their body. Um, I also think that the difficulty of the training um, and the variance in exercises and workouts is so difficult that it just makes you mentally okay uh, to keep going. I think it is, uh, it seems like it's more of a shocker to your system. Uh, you're doing things quickly instead of slowly. Um, you're being forced to speed up when I think you'd like to slow down. So as an example, uh, with a uh, dumbbell drop, I think you call it with the mace, uh, which is rather difficult. Um, shocking my arm, bicep tendons so that they are stronger and are able to maintain what um, they're supposed to do when I'm on the field. I think the benefits for a throwing athlete, whether they be track and field, baseball, uh, quarterback and, and football are tremendous because we're actually training to use those muscles that we would use when we throw, uh, but in an explosive manner, but also with flexibility. Because the exercises that we've done are designed to get us stronger. Um, however, there is a flexibility requirement in order to do the exercise properly. Right, so when um, when players are competing, uh, there's an explosive phase and then a, a slowing down or a braking phase. Um, so the brakes, you don't want to have brakes from a Ford if you're speeding up with a Mercedes Benz. They, they have to balance out each other. And I think a lot of uh, injuries are due to the fact that guys don't slow down correctly. Um, we do exercises where we're asked to do them slowly and then as fast as we can. So there's a balance of back and forth all the time that um, for me creates a well-roundedness with the body to be able to do both explode and also slow down. Absolutely, I think that the way we train is uh, unique and different. Um, I don't wanna say more courageous, that's not true. I actually think that even though it's a lot harder than most guys train, it's safer. Um, I think in the world of uh, professional sports, uh, high-end amateur sports, guys and girls that train athletes are afraid to push them um, and so things get watered down and the athlete doesn't get the full benefit of what his body can do.